At least 13% of children under five are overweight or obese in South Africa, while one in four has chronic malnutrition and stunted growth. This is according to the 2019 South African Child Gauge Report. It is these statistics that saw Nestle for Healthier Kids host a webinar on childhood nutrition in South Africa. The company invited several experts on nutrition to the webinar, including Dr. Lucia Meko, the lecturer for nutrition and dietetics at the University of the Free State, who joins us now uh, via Zoom to tell us more. And with her is, or rather on, on the line, I beg your pardon, and with her is Zooming Jongwe, who is the marketing director at Nestle. Very good morning to you, ladies. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. Good morning. Morning. Now, Dr. Metko, I'm going to start with you. What's the state of childhood nutrition in South Africa, and why should we place the spotlight on this topic? Um, the, the state of childhood nutrition is um, such that we have high rates of overweight and obesity in children, while at the same time having um, high rates of children that are undernourished, and that often presents itself with um, a stunting, which means that the child's height is too short for their age. Um, and concomitant to that, we also see that in, in those children that perhaps look healthy, we also experience what we know as hidden hunger, which is um, a deficiency in, in certain micronutrients. So as South Africa, we face um, a burden that one would refer to as a double burden of undernutrition um, and overweight in, in children. And so that's what the state of our um, malnutrition in the country looks like. Now, Zumi, what inspired Nestle to join this webinar? I mean, what were you trying to highlight? We started this program about three years ago. Mm -hmm. The Nestle for Healthier Kids program is really aimed at supporting parents and caregivers in helping to raise healthier children. Like Dr. Meko has said, uh, we have a, a nutrition problem in South Africa that we have to address. And so this program is really aimed at helping to, to tell parents and caregivers how to encourage children to eat healthier from a young age. Yes. Now, Dr. Meko, according to uh, the 2019 South African Child Gauge Report, uh, child obesity continues to rise in South Africa, and at least 13% of children under five are overweight or obese, uh, while one in four has chronic malnutrition and stunted growth. What are the major contributing factors to this? Um, you know, the first one that, is, that comes to mind is lack of access to healthy food. So on the side of undernutrition, that would mean that a child has um, limited access to any form of food, and particularly foods that are high in protein. And so the body is unable to grow um, and, um, and you know, um, use nutrients that it should because they are not available. Mm -hmm. But in the case of children that are overweight and obese, what we find is that, um, again, due to poverty and affordability or perceived affordability, meals are very high in energy. So um, the meals that children receive um, consist mostly of staple foods with very little other nutrients added to that. And so that often results in an overconsumption of, of these staple foods leading to overweight um, and obesity. So the major contributors are um, poverty linked with poor food choices, um, I should say. Well, Zumi, speak to us about the experts that you have lined up for this conversation and uh, what was the thought process behind that? Well, this program consists of a number of things. The first one is a program on social media on sharing healthier recipes okay. with parents and kids, encouraging kids to go into the kitchen to help make these recipes with their parents because we know from lots of previous research that kids who, who help to prepare meals tend to eat a better variety of food, they tend to drink more water, they tend to include much more fruit and vegetables in their everyday meals, and they tend to know what portion control is like because, you know, they're part of the process. So that was one of the things we're trying to do. We're obviously also very much invested in improving the portfolio of our products, reducing sugars, fats, salts, and other unnecessary ingredients, and we're working together with the retailers and caregivers and other medical professionals to drive an education of what constitutes a great-looking, nutritious, tasty plate for parents and caregivers, among other things. 
We just heard uh, Dr. Meko saying that the, one of the biggest contributing factors to child obesity is poverty and the unavailability, I mean, um, rather, the unaffordability uh, of a proper healthy diet. So what would Nestle's uh, position be towards alleviating this? Well, we're certainly looking at uh, how we ensure that we have a much more affordable range of products, either through packaging and formats or through new brands that are much more affordable across Africa. Okay. And so we're looking at how we can improve this so that the actual absolute cost of our products becomes much more accessible. That is really critical to Dr. Meckel's point, that we have to make sure that not only is it affordable, but also that the nutrient value uh, per gram of serving is better as we go forward. Okay. Now, Dr. Meko, you are quoted as saying that so many communities often don't have the benefit of scientific knowledge and evidence-based information regarding nutrition. Uh, what do you mean by this? I mean, what's the status quo? So the way it works is that as um, dietitians or health professionals, we rely on um, science-based information to inform policy and to inform uh, messaging around anything um, surrounding nutrition. Um, when you go down to the levels um, of communities, you find that um, these people do not have access to this information, mainly due to the fact that the information is mostly disseminated in our um, health institutions and also sometimes in schools. So for the regular community member that is not really accessing health care services, this information becomes unavailable and so it becomes unknown to them. And this you find when you are within the communities and you converse about um, what nutrition is and this is something that we find that a lot of communities are unaware of the importance of nutrition um, on, on overall growth and development, particularly in children. And this is as a result of lack of access to this information. Now, Zumi, what solutions is Nestle then offering to these challenges? We've been working a lot uh, with the Department of Education and really educating children in schools and public schools. We plan to continue to do so because at this point it is probably our best um, high-reach medium for us to be able to disseminate education material to children. And what we find is that we do that, they go home and they share it with their parents. And so our hope is that we can broaden this reach uh, among our kids and make sure that the parents get to, the message gets to the parents. We're also calling upon our partners in the nutrition and health space to join us on this journey, other companies, retailers, and so that we can work together in partnership to make sure that we, uh, we all invest behind this kind of program. One of the key projects of Nestle was to partner with the private business, I mean, around nutrition education. So what's the status of that? We're still working on that through the Consumer Goods Council. We're looking to work with our partners in driving that agenda. We know that they also have a vested interest in this area, and we know that uh, other businesses have got their own programs that they're working on. And so we are all uh, approaching this with the critical uh, priority that it deserves, and we are all committed to working together, all, all, both pri private and public partnerships. Dr. Meko, do you think parents may not necessarily understand uh, what nutrition really is? That's very true. Um, there's, there's a sense that um, food is food, um, and we often find people eat without understanding what the nutritional value of food is. There's a little bit of understanding in terms of, um, say, macronutrients, um, that is, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. But the um, the extent of the impact of um, having a balanced diet, it seems to be um, not really understood by, by parents. So for, where some of them may know that um, you know, food is, is important, the, the actual um, importance of food or the extent of the importance is really not clearly understood. Now, Zumi, now back to the webinar. What solutions came out of this webinar and what happens from here? 
Well, one of the conversations that we started having was around how retailers can really improve the accessibility of the healthy food basket, right? Mm -hmm. Because like Dr. Meko says, accessibility is the most critical piece. We have a role to play as private industry, but so do retailers. So we're starting to have conversations about what that looks like. And again, that could be in the form of affordable formats, affordable pack sizes, affordable brands uh, that consumers uh, can certainly buy. Uh, Secondly was, you know, the support from the uh, medical fraternity around really driving education, as Dr. Meko has said, and really uh, challenging us, uh, the private sector, to say, how do we get to the rural areas, not just the urban areas that we need to go to. And so we are having those conversations around how to expand the reach of programs such as ours of driving a healthier awareness education uh, through to really the, you know, the outskirts of our country. And so for me, those were the really two big actions that we are working on going forward. And it's often been said that losing some TV ads might reduce childhood obesity. I suppose that this will be a very you know, difficult uh, issue to navigate, huh? isn't it? Indeed. Um, and, 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 you know, like um, our previous letters have shown us, if you can get to the children and they can get to the parents, it is a, a, a great uh, push factor for parents to also educate themselves. So really the school's program for us is a critical one that we are really trying to see how do we influence children between 6 and 12 years old to really understand and drive these initiatives on healthier habits. Now, Dr. Mekwe, uh, I mean, it's often said that, uh, you know, fast foods is much more cheaper uh, than a cooked, uh, like a home cooked meal. And it's actually even, it takes even a, a, a shorter time frame to prepare. So what should parents uh, factor in insofar as making sure that uh, their children are not obese? Um. What parents need to think of is um, the long-term effect of uh, a child being overweight and obese. And while it is true that um, the the more processed foods are um, uh, readily available, easier to prepare in terms of, you know, you you actually sometimes don't even need to prepare um, and also cheaper, um, the long-term effects on a child have far-reaching effects than what what the the immediate um, benefits are. So in, in trying to factor in what parents should, should, should consider is what do they want their children to be? How do they want their children's life to be in future? Um, because these children that are overweight and obese tend to have high risks of diabetes and hypertension and certain forms of cancers later on in life. And that's what parents should try and prevent. Now, Doctor, yeah, I mean, what solutions do you offer? Um, the major solution that I've, I think, um, you know, what Nestle presents is nutrition education, but nutrition education um, that, um, you know, is in line with um, what community contexts look like. And I think the, the schools um, are a, a, a very good opportunity. If we educate our children early enough, um, they go home and, and have some influence on their parents. Um, other than that, I, I, I mean, I've just said to to the Nestle people that what we also need to consider is educating the larger population in some way or another on the impact of nutrition and making better um, eating, um, choices, food choices, and um, making better food basket choices. That is um, a possible solution. Dr. Lucia Meko and uh, Zumin Jongwe joining us on the line. Thanks to you two ladies for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so that was uh, Dr. Lucia Meko, the lecturer of nutrition and dietetics at the University of the Free State, speaking to us about a recent webinar on childhood nutrition in South Africa hosted by Nestle for Healthier Kids. With her was the company's marketing director, Zumi Jogwe. This is Morning Live on SAPC News. Let's take a quick break. We'll be back shortly.